So I've got a rather unusual title for this video, uh, Fly Line Things. I was going to call it Fun with Fly Lines, but uh, thinking about it, that doesn't seem appropriate and Fly Line Tips is wrong, so anyway, you'll see what I'm up to if you bear with me for a while. I've got a lot of fly lines that uh, have been on various old reels that I've sold to make way for some better tackle and because they've been transferred very often from one reel to another some of them I've lost track of what's the actual line weight so I've downloaded off the internet this chart here um, which gives you the weight in grams or grains for fly lines this is for the first 30 feet so I've had to multiply the weight by three times because we've got like most of the fly lines are 90 feet long and um, it works quite well. I've got a, a weighted four fly line here which is um, number five weighted forward so uh, I'll put that into the into the rack and it's 24 grain so that's showing it's a, actually a four weight but because it's weighted forward the first uh, 30 feet is the heaviest section and the, the rest of it the other 60 feet are thinner level line so you'd, you'd expect a weighted forward will always weigh close to one line size under so this the system is pretty accurate uh, I particularly wanted to uh, find my two weight fly line. Oh, this is the one I suspect has been a two weight. Yes, that's right. 15.6 for a two weight. So you can see it's a, it's a nice light two weight. It's more like a one and a half or one and three quarter weight line. This line I know is a seven weight with an intermediate weighted four tip. And that goes at 40, 41.5, so 40.8, it's very close. So this is just an idea for you. If like me, you've got some fly lines and you lose track of what actual weights they are because if you take these three airflow lines I've got here, they're, um, they're all different weights, but at a casual glance, you wouldn't know weight was what. So I'll mark those up later. I won't bore you to tears now doing it. So, but what you do need is you do need a set of pretty accurate scales and uh, thanks to the home growers and the cottage industries that seem to be spreading around the country there's there's plenty of scales at a low price for doing low weights the other thing I was going to show you is how to uh, do your own loop end You can buy these braided loops that fit on the end of the fly line, uh, but I've had trouble with those in the past because some of these fly lines, especially near the tip, the uh, external finish is, is fairly weak. And if you're, if you're playing a decent fish or even get caught up on the bottom, the uh, braided loop thing can pull itself free and you lose your cast flies and fish and everything. It's happened to me on a couple of occasions so I don't use braided loops anymore. So if you take a razor blade you can thin off the uh, 
a little bit of your firelight. Now fold it back on itself. Just move this light and hopefully get less, less shadows. So I've got a fly line, sorry, a fly tine bobbin holder with some fly tine thread. And just start it off with a small loop. Work your way down the down the ends. You don't have to go mental with the amount of turns because uh, there's a few turns, a few tight turns will be surprisingly strong. When you get to that point And to finish the job off, you need a small drip of uh, super glue. So uh, I wouldn't be inclined to do this on a, a polished kitchen table because it'll be it'll be all over the place. and unstuck, unstick my fingers. And when it's dry, trim off the loose ends. Now so that's your fly loop. And the beauty of doing it yourself is you can make it as uh, small and or as large as you want. Now I'm going to show you a little clip coming up in a few seconds of what happened to my friend in in June when we were fishing together. He'd bought himself a, a new fly line, used it for just a couple of times and uh, he uh, enthusiastically pulled it off the reel and because it had twisted up while fishing it got into a, an amazing mess. Anyway, uh, uh, this little clip will show you us sorting it out. Uh, are you doing something quite intriguing? When, when I pulled the line off the reel, it came off and through. It was only a clean that went falling in the ground with it. It got a loop. I'll give you a hand with this because I'm quite used to these things. Even this is rough now. The more you spend on a line, the more inclined it is to tangle. I think it's one of the extras the manufacturers put in the thing. I mean, theoretically, because you haven't put a tangle in it, there shouldn't be a tangle there. It should, it should just wind in. I'll get the surplus out of the way. Yeah, it's just best to rattle it loosely and it's sort of...
If you want to make up a cast or something, I'll 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 uh, I'll rattle on with this for you. I'll just have a single for you. I'll just use it. That was a rise, did you hear it? I had a plop. Yeah. It's because you threw that loser. Don't pull any more off the reel because we've got enough here as it is. Mm, right, if it was any tighter, it would have been a lot. Well, hundreds of them. And you know, I find that when you do a lot of fishing, you, you don't realise you're doing it, you actually twist the fly line mm -hmm. so that it wants to do what it's doing, kink up on itself. I saw it go underneath that a couple of times and yeah, if only everything was that simple. We've got this wonderful setup here, haven't we? Oops. Where's the the that's front the here? Front this is that's Yeah, so that goes round there twenty seven times and It's almost there. It's only, almost there. It's only another half hour and we've just about done it. It's actually... It's twisting, isn't it? Oh, that's it, that's what I say. Right, I'll just run it through my hands like this and it'll get some of the twist out. Right, you can reel that back in now. Not super tight, but reasonably firmly. And then... I hope you at least saw the funny side to all of that. Uh, it's just a couple of little tips. Um, I'm finishing now, so... Uh, all the best to you all and have a good Christmas. Bye for now.